I didn't see that until I got home. So when I went to unthaw it, I said, rib meat? What is rib meat? Like literally, I've never seen that on chicken all these years I've been cooking it. It said chicken breast mixed with rib meat. I was like, okay, maybe I'm tripping. So I BS you now one night, I'm about to get ready to cook this chicken. I BS y'all, I'm not kidding. God is my witness. God is my witness. God is my witness. I was going to go cook the chicken for me and the family. I'm about to get ready to cook the chicken. The chicken is in the sink thawing out. I'm preparing the pots. I'm like, okay, dude, BS you not. I'm finna go pick up the chicken. I get the urge to throw up. Y'all, God knows. I, Alexis, do not like throwing up. That's one thing he know I literally loathe. I can't say the word hate. But I literally loathe throwing up because the taste and it's just gross. He know I don't like throwing up. He knows that. He knows that, right? And so that day he was like, okay, I'm going to have to do something to her to make her realize I'm serious. He know I don't like it. So he was like, the only way to get her to realize I'm serious the, you know throw up right so i'm about to reach for the chicken and i'm, I'm literally it's about, it's like about right here i was like i was like wait a minute no 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 i walk out the kitchen the throw up feeling was gone so i was like wait a minute maybe i'm tripping maybe, like i literally just walked out and it's gone i was like okay let me go back so i'm finna go back and pick the chicken up again i got i was about to throw up i mean it was right here it was like up in here and I was like, okay. And so I walked out again. Uh, it went away. I was like, ooh. And I was like, I was telling their uh, their dad. I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do the chicken tonight. Like, I feel like I'm about to throw up. And it's just not responding correctly. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the chicken. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm tripping. Let me test this one more time and see if I'm tripping, right? I go back in the kitchen. I'm about to reach for that chicken one more time. And I mean, it was about right here. God, like, touch that chicken if you want to. So it was like right here at that point. I said, okay, you know what? God telling me something. So I'm going to just put this chicken in the refrigerator and we'll worry about the chicken tomorrow. I called my mama. I told her what was happening. She was like, God trying to tell you don't cook that chicken. Go throw it away. So I was like, all right, let's go throw it away. And this was, was this before or after he, this was, uh, I think this was right around the time he showed me the, the bump the lump or whatever the knot and i think this was right before he showed me that and so on that fast he told me alexis baby you're gonna have to cut the chicken out i said lord you're right because one thing i don't want is the bc like i have my stepmother went through bc like i i firsthand saw it and so I was like, Lord, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. No. And then I heard literally the, one of the first things they tell women or whoever have BC to cut out is literally chicken because apparently chicken is cancerous. Well, honey, listen, Alexis ain't going to do it. Okay. But I want to just tell y'all the little synopsis and story. I'm about to get ready to go. Go test the spirit, but y'all be careful out here in these streets. The GOV, they doing something, and the Lord is exposing people. I'm going to tell you that. The Lord is exposing people, and so if you ain't up to no good, key word, the Lord is exposing people, you might want to get right because nothing, nothing that's done in the dark, it stays in the dark. No, it comes to light eventually, so. With that being said, I pray y'all have a good day, a good night, whenever y'all see this. And I love y'all. Jesus loves y'all as well. And I hope y'all have an amazing day. Bye.